One of the most common lenses people tend to go for for their second or third lens to add to their kit is normally a telephoto lens. Hello, my name is Sam, and welcome to my review of the Canon 70-200 f2.8 3 L series lens. The massive extra range opens up a world of possibilities for getting closer subjects that you just wouldn't be able to otherwise. The Canon 70-200 L series lenses have always been a very popular choice for Canon users such as myself. The electronics work very well with Canon's autofocus, obviously, and the battle-proven weather sealing is an obvious big bonus. I haven't made any inroads into Canon's RF line of lenses. I don't have any RF uh, or RF mount cameras, so there isn't any need for me at the moment. Um, and their EF lenses are not bad lenses. I mean, they're, they've been industry standard lenses almost for, well, for a very, very long time. So although not a new lens, the 70 to 200 3 series lens is still very, very good. And why would you choose the third series over one of the older models? Other than a slightly different shade of white, the exterior of the lens is still very similar to the previous models. There is a focus mode switch, a focus distance switch, a stabilizer switch, and a stabilizer mode switch. Mode one being the normal stabilization mode, and mode two being for panning shots, so it's not compensating for the lateral movement that you're doing with your panning. There is a 77 millimeter filter thread on the front of the lens, just like many, many of their uh, other L-series lenses, and Canon's oh so popular EF mount at the back. So I've used this lens for about a year and a half now, so I think I've got a pretty good wide variety of experience with the lens. The f2.8 is lovely and almost a must-have over the f4 variant. It's just so much more light, which is a massive help when you're shooting subjects in dark environments. Even more so if they're moving a lot and you need to keep that shutter speed quite high. The lens is also a constant to f2.8 throughout the entire range from 70mm all, all the way through to 200mm, so you're not losing any exposure as you're going through the lens's uh, focal range, which is wonderful. The f2.8 means the bokeh is very, very nice, very, very beautiful, and also quite round. This is mainly due to the way that the lens is put together inside and also the number of aperture blades. But I'm by no means a lens specialist or a lens technician, so if you want the, uh, the know-how and the internals of how this thing works, uh, you might want to find another video. There isn't really any strong flaring in this lens, which I believe is mainly due to the coating on the front of this lens. Of course, flares are a stylistic thing, uh, but the advantage to not having flares in your footage is, is it allows you to keep a lot more contrast in your image when you're pointing towards bright, uh, bright, uh, bright elements in your frame, such as the sun or whatever like that. I believe this coating is only featured on the third edition of this lens lineup, so if that's another, that's a reason to go for this lens over the previous ones. And if you want to cut down the flaring even more and have more contrast in your image, then of course you also have the included lens hood, which makes the thing even longer. But the longer the lens, the more professional you look, right? The autofocus is fantastic and it works very, very well alongside Canon's dual pixel autofocus. Obviously, that's a no-brainer and it has never let me down once. Then finally, there's the stabilization in this lens, which is really what made me pick the third edition of the lens lineup over the previous ones. Looking at tests that have been done with this lens versus the older uh, versions of the lens, the stabilization is night and day difference when it comes to video. It's absolutely phenomenal. I can confidently use this lens handheld and it will deal with all the movement almost perfectly. And that's, you know, that's something that not many lenses do. Even all the way zoomed in as well, which is staggering really. It does such a good job. Filming events with this lens is absolutely great. I can completely ditch the monopod because of the stabilization. Are there any negatives? Probably the weight and the size of this thing. So if you're one for traveling light and need a small setup, it's probably not the best lens. I haven't weighed it myself, but I believe it's about 1.5 kilograms. But if you couple that with the weight of your camera as well, it's gonna add up very, very quickly. And it can hurt you back, I guess, after a long day's usage, especially if you haven't got the smallest of cameras as well. So, um, well, just keep that in mind. But hey, you might find that it's worth it. The optical quality, of course, is fantastic. So I think that's pretty much it. Again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please hit them in the uh, please type them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. That will really, really help. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.